Welcome to this node breakdown for Mardini 2024 with Grayscale Gorilla. This is for day one, and today's node is the Spiral node. So the Spiral node is a sub-level geometry node. You can go ahead and in the geometry context, drop a Spiral node. Alternatively, we have access to it through the shelf tools. At the top over here, you can click on Spiral and press Enter, place a Spiral like that, or you can gain access to the helix. This over here creates a helix structure. So let's just take a look at some interesting use cases for the spiral. We have some controls. We can enable a height ramp over here. And when we start adjusting the height, this ramp will act as a multiplier for that depending on where along the curve you are. So you can drop the height at the start of the curve. We also have some options for increasing the number of spirals. At the bottom here, we have spiral count. Increasing that creates a bunch of spirals like this. And if you want to do something interesting, you can use something like a sweep node, setting its surface shape to something like round tube. And then from here, you can do all sorts of tapering as well. Now, as for the helix node that you can drop, this one might be interesting for creating something like DNA. So if we just increase the height and give it another spiral count, we can have something like that. And with a few basic operations, you can do something like this, where you connect up each of the corresponding points. Another cool thing that you could do is you can go ahead and use a polyframe node with a spiral node. And if we just change this tangent name over here to N, you can see that we can actually find the direction along the curve. This can be useful for all sorts of cool effects, especially if you're gonna be looking at simulations. Take that and use it to generate some velocities, throw it into a solver, and you end up with cool swirling effects like this. Now, of course, there are so many other options of what you could possibly do. So do feel free to get creative with it and don't be limited to just what I've shown you over here. But that's all for this quick breakdown. I'll be seeing you tomorrow with some information on the Topo Build tool. So see you tomorrow for day two. Bye.